I'm super excited. We finally have the key to our house. We've been under contract for three months, so it's kind of a super big deal. The house is behind me. Um, we're homeowners, which is so cool. Yeah, it's so um, exciting. Yeah, it is. So we're going to give you a house tour. Um, currently, the house is completely empty. So as you're seeing it is like day one. Um, hopefully in the future, we can show changes as we do them. So yeah, I'm super pumped. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So not only do we own a house, but we actually also own this rug. Um, this rug is what I like to think of as free. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not free. We paid for it, but you know, let's do this. Um, actually, if you can look, can you show a close up of this? This, um, this doorknob and what do you call this? The plate? That you like answer yeah i don't know it looks really cool and i feel like it has a lot of character um which obviously you know with a home of this age and i don't know if we've said it but this house was built in 1890 so it has a lot of character um but yeah it was like one of the first things that stood out to us as we came in for the house a couple months ago this is it <laughs> i own this red Fortress. Um, this red monstrosity. This red it's monstrosity. So red. It is really red. And honestly, like you'll notice as you walk in the house, the lower parts of the walls have different textures going on. Like this is kind of like shiplap. Is that what this is? Like shiplap? And then this is um, I don't know, like plaster. plaster. Um but yeah, a lot of the things are original to the home. Um, this room is kind of like a one, like long room, and we're gonna use it as a living room. Um, and as you can see for context, the ceilings are 11 feet tall. I'm it looks five, so tiny. I am five foot two. Um, but yeah, this red room, obviously in the future we plan on painting it. Um, we've already had like a lot of ideas because we've been like daydreaming of the colors that we can. Okay. Well, we've had many months to think about it. You know, three months under contract gives you a lot of time to pin some stuff on Pinterest. But honestly, like these windows, they're on both sides. I think they're called bay windows. Um, these were one of like the main selling features for me. I just loved how you know, how it looks, it gives the house a lot of character, and I also feel like, you know, once we paint the room and, re, you know, we, we plan on refinishing the floors at some point, there, it's currently some, uh, it's like black, it's painted black, so we're gonna have some fun, you know, redoing that, but yeah, I feel like it'll really brighten up the space to have all these windows, I think it's so awesome, I'm super excited for, like, our cat to, like, look at these windows and, like, I don't know, just to live our lives here. I think it's so cool. Um, but yeah, if you want to come over here, I can show you what I meant about different textures on the wall. This brown, it's not paint. It's like a like a cloth, would you say? It's like a cloth. Uh, we haven't like torn it down again since day one. Um, there's literally nothing in this house other than you know what was here on day of closing. But yeah, that's the living room. All right, and so continuing on the trend of 11 feet rooms, through here is another bedroom. You see these big white doors, they're actually pocket doors. Um, obviously, like we have plans to sh take the doors out, strip the paint, maybe stain it, and then each of these wood panels are going to be glass beads, so they're both gonna be French doors. And, sorry, this is a little loud. If you follow me this way, this is actually one of the two bedrooms, and I plan on using it as an office slash, you know, guest bedroom. But it's super interesting, and it's a little dark because it's little, it's now almost evening time. But it's super interesting because the walls are it's called barge board. board. Yeah, yeah, it's called barge board. So the the walls are made of this wood that were that yeah, like, it comes from ships that were deconstructed and the materials were reused. Yeah, and it's super interesting because you can actually, if you see over here, you can see that there's these holes in the walls. Can you see yeah, that? Yeah, the holes are, it's how they were like put on a string and connected together so that they could be sold. It's like a cheap building material. Right. And this, I, I thought this room was super interesting. I think they originally were using it as like a living room or something. Um, but yeah, because you can see it has these doors, it has this door here, which this door is um recycled from like a high school you see the sticker here a local high school and then there's also this french door here which connects to the main bedroom um so the fact that there's like three points of entry is a little interesting i, mean, I think we definitely have plans to 
like board this yeah. up to create a little that one. yeah to create a little more privacy um, and you can see here too there's um this wall that protrudes a little bit and it's because there is a fireplace on the other side that we'll see in the bedroom all right and then from this room again we're back in the living room and then if you follow me this way there's going to be a long hallway. Something that's unique to New Orleans architecture is shotgun style houses. Um, this house is not a shotgun, thankfully. Yeah, it's, it's like a side hall shotgun. Yeah, it's like a side hall. So you'll notice that, maybe we'll like draw a floor plan to talk about this, but you'll notice that there are two bedrooms and then, yeah, there's two bedrooms and then there's a long hallway and that's what you call a side hall shotgun. Yeah, so if you follow me this way, you'll see we have the, the office that we toured on the left. And then come this way, you've got these windows, which again, you know, there's this weird like texture on the walls. You can see it a little bit better over here that we plan on taking down. Um, we're not sure if we're going to do beadwork yet, but oh yeah, this is one of the doors we're going to be installing at a later point. But from here you can actually see the bedroom. And again, it's a little dark because it's evening time, but I'm going to turn the light on. Um, that's over here. All right. Here it is. This bedroom is a little bit bigger than the other one. And here's the door you can see. Um, we just saw on the other side of the office. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the size of this room. Um, the first thing, obviously, that stands out is this light. Do you have any thoughts to this? Do you have any attachments to this light? I don't. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I have no idea when this was installed. It's definitely not original, but yeah, we'll definitely be... Getting rid of this bad boy. It's but also yeah. pretty low. Yeah. Like, if you were any taller. I am 5'2". <laughs> so it's not, it's not an issue for me. But you can see here um, the fireplace that I was talking about. This is the thing that protrudes on the other side. Um, I'm, it's not functional to my knowledge. Um, I, th I don't think we have any plans of making it functional. If anything, we'll probably just close it off and just kind of keep it as like decorational. Um, and if that's the case, I my goal would be to open up the other side. Like, yeah, I think that'd be cool because I, I love to read, so I'm like, I envision my books next to my fireplace. I think that'd be goals. But yeah, so there is the same weird texture on the walls. And then if you look closely, there's actually this really cool trim. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to get it. It's... If not, I'll, I'll take another shot oh, elsewhere. Yeah, it's really cool. It's interesting because the owner actually, um, the owner who we bought the house from was like, be sure not to take down the trim. He's like, be careful with it. It crumbles. And I imagine it's because it's super old. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I feel like I can see, I don't know what we're going to do with all this space. Like, I guess you put a bed, some nightstands, but then gosh, you still have a whole, whole other side of the room. I don't think... Any of our bedrooms we've had in our apartments have ever been this big. Um, yeah, we got a lot of space. Yeah, we do. And then, yeah, so this is a two bedroom, one bath. We just walked through the bedrooms, and then here's the one bath. We can access it from the bedroom. So if you'll follow me this way. All right, to the right of me is the most important seat of the house. Can you come a little closer before I show you the mess of the room? This is what we call the throne at our, <laughs> at our household. Um, yeah, so I mean, if you want to show, it's a little messy because the owner had like this giant, where Tyler's standing, he had this giant, um, what would you even call it? Like, no, it's not it's a wardrobe. Like an organizer or something. Yeah, it was like an organizer and it was right here. You can actually see the outline of it. I have no idea how long it's been there, but he removed it and all this stuff fell. And honestly, we're not that mad about it because we like, one of the first things we plan on doing is redoing this bathroom before we move in. Um, it's pretty sizable, you know, it's got a cloth, a tub that's currently filled with just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. And then, yeah, it's got this toilet and this sink. We plan on definitely keeping the cloth, a tub. Um, it was kind of a big conversation for us because we've had cloth, tubs in the past and rentals. And I don't know, I just never had good experiences with them, but you know in talking with each other and like others they're like you can't get rid of the tub yeah also it's like super big yeah it's and like, i don't know what you would do with the apparently, space if you like put a shower yeah apparently it's like longer than like a normal one and i think people pay extra for that so i was like i feel like we should probably appreciate that but yeah one of the first things we plan on doing is taking everything out we plan on retiling the floor because currently it's hardwood and with a cloth a tub, I just think it makes the most sense to put some tile down just in terms of like 
moisture and like mold and stuff. Um, these two doors, as I was saying, there's some doors in this house that are currently not installed and this door and this door do not have doors in currently and we plan on, what is it, pocket doors? We plan yeah, on we plan on installing doors. Yeah, pocket both. doors there. But the walls are definitely not. Thick yeah, you Because all of the walls are you can show this. It's literally like, I can, my hands are pretty small. Like, I can like put my whole hand here and it's, it's literally just boards together. And I guess it kind of just shows like the sign of the times. Like they literally were just slapping things together. Um, we're pretty sure that this bathroom is, well, we're positive that this bathroom was an addition. Like oh, it's yeah, not, sure. it's not, you know, original to like, 1890, I mean, I don't even think they had indoor plumbing. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I don't want to be, you know, fact checked, but I'm pretty sure they didn't. So this was definitely an addition. So we don't feel that bad in terms of, you know, tiling over this stuff. Um, one of Tyler and I's like main priorities is restoration. So we want to keep things as original as possible, you know, as close, um, falling as closely to the character of the home as possible. I think that's really important to us. Um, so and, and that goes with like tile and stuff. We're not gonna, you know, put some gray tile in this super old modern home. Well, it's not modern, super old home. We're not gonna put super modern stuff in here. So we'll definitely keep that in mind when we're choosing things for sure. Oh, also one more thing before we move out. There's a door in here. <laughs> um, yeah, if you'll count with me, Tyler is standing in a doorway. He's standing in a doorway. He's standing in the bedroom now, the main bedroom. He's in a doorway. Here's a doorway to the kitchen. You can see doorway number two. This is doorway number three. This goes outside to a, um, to it's, a, porch. a it's a porch. Yeah, yeah, it's like not in the best condition, but it goes to a porch. So that's why you can understand we want pocket doors because we have no plans to remove this door. Um, we actually already purchased a French door to put here. Super old French door. Yeah, or just um, a, it's a glass door. Well, yeah, it's a glass door. We were, we, the people we bought it from were like, oh, don't call it a French door because it's not two. But I'm like, you know, it's it's a door with glass. Um, but yeah, that's why we, we want to put pocket doors. But yeah, so as you saw, we went through the bedroom, the bedroom, the living room, and then the bathroom. So the end of the hallway comes to the kitchen here. So we'll go ahead and walk in there. All right, so I just came from the bathroom. I'm going to walk to the other end just to show how large this kitchen is. Tyler is standing on the other side of this kitchen. Um, I'm gonna, we, we broke down the measurement of this room. Yeah, today. I think it's like 27 feet long or something. Yeah, it's, it's like huge, really long. Huge kitchen. It's like, gosh, I feel like this kitchen, from our current, like comparing to our current apartment, I feel like this kitchen is like our kitchen plus like <laughs> our dining room and like half of our living room, which is bananas um but as you can see it's all pretty much bare bones which is pretty awesome for us because we have dreams of you know redoing stuff we want to do as much as we can on our own um yeah I think that that definitely starts with these cabinets yeah it starts with these they cabinets. are not in very good condition they're falling apart in some places yeah and it's just kind of like a random like i feel i don't know i feel like there definitely needs to be some stuff like I think our fridge will go here, and then maybe like the stove. I yeah. like where the sink is. I mean, I don't know. I guess maybe they were onto something. Um, when we yeah, I think the layout's good. It's just that the cabinets themselves are like yeah, they need they're, a bit of they're too water damaged to continue using. Yeah, you can actually. I mean, this sink, you know, it's I don't even know what it's made of, but it, you know, it's like a farmhouse sink, and you just see the water damage. Um, yeah, so we plan on redoing this. Um, I'm trying to talk Tyler into the, letting us tile this because this, it, like the bathroom, is an addition. Um, so I feel like that would be really nice, especially you know, with it being a kitchen. I think it would just be like the smartest for us at least to tile everything. Um, we haven't really made any decisions in terms of like you know specifics in terms of like design. Um, like colors and stuff, but I'm excited. Um, do you want to show the other side of the room? Oh yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah. So that's you know where everything all the cookie stuff will go. And then when we actually toured this house, they had this like huge like farmer's table. Um, clearly, like you like you saw us in the red room, we're going to use that whole thing as a dining room. Um, a fun fact about us is that we currently do not even have a dining room table at our house. Um, so 
it's going to be an upgrade for us to have. Our goal is to kind of recreate it having like a huge table. And so anytime we like have guests or dinners or anything, we can be in this room. I mean, it's so big. I feel like it definitely can support that. But yeah, so this is, I am now standing where Tyler is standing. You can picture him with this camera. Um, this is the other side of the room. Um, we're trying, we're kind of toying with the idea of, you know, storage is like really top of mind for us. So I feel like we're probably going to try to put like some sort of cabinet or something for food and maybe like a little coffee bar. Yeah, a coffee bar would be nice. And maybe our washing machines inside. We yeah, can figure it out. it's like really common for people in New Orleans to put their washer and dryer outside. Um, our current rental has the washer and dryer in the shed in the backyard. So if you look around, you'll notice we didn't pass a laundry room. In fact, there's literally no closets in the entire house. Um, I I don't know. I don't, I don't really don't know why. I think it just goes with the age of the home. Yeah, I don't think there's space for them, especially yeah. if the, of the house is framed. Yeah, that's super true. Um, so yeah, we're trying to think of storage as much as possible, whether it's in the kitchen or in the bathroom. I don't think we have any plans on adding any closets to the bedroom, but you know, we'll, we'll yeah, see Yeah, maybe time. some wardrobes or something. Yeah, I mean, currently there are wardrobes in there, so it kind of makes sense that we just keep with the trend. But yeah, if you come this way a little, you can see that this is the red hallway that we have uh, from. You can see it here, and then hold one second while I run to turn the light on. There it is. Look at the ceilings. I cannot get over how tall these ceilings are. I feel like Tyler and I talked about it a lot, and we just never could have imagined, like, in a million years, that we would own a home that has this much character. And gosh, with these ceiling heights, I just. I think it's so cool. I I feel it's just a beautiful space. Yeah, I'm just I'm super enthused. I'm like over the moon. I think I don't know. It's still surreal. I mean, I know we closed and we own this, but I'm just really grateful that. Oh gosh, we can paint over these red walls. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, I think maybe if it's not super dark, you can see the sun's going down. We may show a few clips of the outside, but we haven't even gotten to like to the topic of the outdoors i think that the yard is i know i keep talking on and on about how much we love this house but the yard i cannot even begin to tell y'all how excited we were when we saw this property listed on zillow we were like immediately we were like day one we were like we need to go see this house <laughs> um, we definitely were super annoying to our realtors so we're kind of like happy that this worked out but yeah, that pretty much concludes the tour. Um, yeah, at least of the interior. Yeah, of the interior. I think maybe we'll go outside and show y'all a few overgrown trees and plants. There's definitely a lot of work that needs to be done out there, but I think it, in the end, I think it's going to look really nice. Um, not only that, but you know, we get to say that we did it with our own two hands, which I think is most of the fun, right? Like, is being able to say that these floors I did them. You know, these will not be black always, and it'll be because of us, hopefully. Yeah, so that's why right. people watch YouTube. Yeah, so people watch YouTube. I feel like I mean, we watch of, it too, so. Yeah, we've spent so much time like watching other people do this on YouTube, and we know what it's like to sit behind the screen and be like, man, I cannot wait for that to be me, and I think it's just super exciting. Um, I get really lost in thought when I think about it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for like watching. I think if you're lucky, we'll go outside and show a few clips. Um, if not, you'll definitely see them in the future. We plan on recording this entire process. Um, Tyler and I are new, you know, to making videos. So bear with us as we share the journey. If we show, you know, if we're showing the highs, we're also gonna show the lows. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. Do you have anything to say? Um, well, I mean, I think that we can still go outside. I think we can definitely do it. Oh Lord, I'm like really sweating y'all. There's like no AC in here. I mean, there is AC, there's window units. I don't know, it's like a whole thing. Yeah, let's go outside. Let's go outside. All right, Tyler talked me into it. Let's show the outside. It's gonna feel a lot better out there too. Um, oh, it's we... really hot in here. Yeah, it's really hot in here. But 
before we go out, I wanted to say that this is the same color as the front door, and that's very funny. Tyler likes this. You like this orange, right? I think it's nice. I don't know if I love it, but you know, it's cool because this has, if you come a little closer, you can see that this has the same um, doorknob structure with the plate that I liked. The doorknob's a little different, but yeah. You can come up here, nice glass because you can see a bunch yeah. of light. It's exciting that there actually is glass rather oh than gosh. like the one in the bathroom. It feels so much better up here. Um, come this way. This is the door from the bathroom that I was saying when you walk in, there's a door that comes out to the porch. And you can actually see the porch too. It's Yeah, it's it's rough. It is a little rough looking for sure. Um, I'm going to come down and step. Yeah, and this is like the whole yard here. And it's not even like showing the side or front. Yeah. The side yard is really big. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff currently in the yard, like there's just random wood and random like junk. We have a lot to do. We have a lot of things we want to like recycle, reuse, or throw away um, if possible. There's a lot of plants we want to cut back. Um, you can actually <laughs> see, yes. If there's an excess of plants to cut back. Yeah. You, and trees. And like, that one. We talked a little bit about how this house, um, we were super enthusiastic to see it online. Another thing we were super like thrilled about and that we want, had on our wish list, because um, not every house is like this, but at least in New Orleans is the land. The yeah, yard. The, the yard is just so big. Yeah, it's so big. This yard, I mean, right now there's a lot of concrete, you know, because apparently um, the seller said that, you know, before the owner before him, a family used to live here. They apparently had like a barn. Yeah, like a huge barn. Yeah, which was and a, a big refrigerator too. Yeah, and I mean you can see there's yeah, this, this structure cinder block building in the back. Yeah, and there's also a shed in the corner. Um, so yeah, we have plans to clean this up um, and just use this yard. Oh, there's a cat. Oh, they ran. Sorry. Um, clean it up and just kind of live our lives. Our dog's going to be so happy. Um, we have so much like room to play. Um, yeah, I think the fact that this house already is, you know, super interesting and unique, but not yeah, only just that. just the fact that it even exists yeah. and that we were able to get it and like so this and house, not go bankrupt. Exactly. Um, but this house exists, but there's also this structure that's this pre-existing structure in the back, which, if you know anything about zoning codes, is like a really big deal. Um, and then the shed, there's just so much to do and so many projects, cool projects that we can do in the future. Um, all this wood, what the heck, that's free. Yeah. Wood free is expensive. Stuff. Um, but yeah, let's walk to the front of the house. Oh gosh, I thought I felt a bug. Let's walk to the front of the house. Um, you can actually, can you show real quick? Yep. All the, the grass is a little overgrown, which is crazy. I guess that's just, yeah. you know, not summer vibes, but you know, it's the end of August. It feels like summer here in Louisiana. Um, ignore the trash, plan on throwing that away. Um, yeah, we definitely need a dumpster. <laughs> I was going to say, we talked about how this tree makes us a little uncomfortable because it's close to the house. Yeah, it's, it's huge. It just keeps going. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, there's so many things to do. It's so exciting. Yeah, let's go to the front. Hello. 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 Here's Tyler. Um, out right from behind the camera. He just made a joke that he's not sweaty, but yeah, I'm sweaty. You're sweaty. I am sweaty. You can see I'm literally glistening. Um, yeah, that concludes our video. I think oh, it's been, it's getting progressively darker as we stand yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> but the mosquitoes are literally, we're just talking about how we're excited to put our mosquito zapper yeah, out. Zapper. Yeah, I mean, that we really need to get that over here like ASAP. Yeah, like yeah. They're threatening. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm happy we showed you the outside and the inside. I can't wait to continue to just make progress on the house. I think anything up from here, anything from here is just, you know, going uphill and just enjoying what we're doing. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Like anything is better <laughs> than what we have now. Yeah. So like we really have a lot to do before we can move in. But once we're there, it's going to be oh, just so exciting. I don't think we said we move in in one month. Oh, yeah. yeah That's we moved, important. Yeah. We got like a month to we figure have, out a lot of stuff. Yeah, we have one month to figure out. Mostly the bathroom situation, but just, you know, a lot of other details. Um, yeah, so I guess the countdown starts like now. Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, thank you so much for yeah. watching. Bye. It's exciting. Bye.
<laughs> it's our first time entering the home, right, with the keys? It is the first time. <laughs> <laughs> 